Welcome to our FB page at sa ating YouTube channel na para yung Solving Math with Leonelin. Now, let's answer questions from random post at ito ay again, hindi ko i-reveal kung saang saang post kaya ito or kung sinong nag-post. Find the difference of the following. So, ang nandito ay mga fractions ito. Kapag mag-subtract at mag-add tayo ng mga fractions, dapat yung mga denominators ay pariho. So, wala tayong problema dito sa number 3. Now, ngayong iba ay hindi pariho yung mga denominators. Ibig sabihin, hanapan natin sila ng least common denominator. Para sa detalye, kung paano hanapin yung least common denominator, meron na tayo niyang mga dating videos, yung pinaka-basic nito. Kaya pwede niyo yung i-search, idugtong lang yung Leonalin para mas madaling ma-sort out yung dati na natin mga videos regarding dito. Let's do number one. Paano pa hanapin yung least common denominator? Now, tingnan natin yung may pinakamalaking value. Ma-divide kaya ni 4. Kung hindi, doon tayo sa multiple of 5, which is yung next ay 10. Si 10 hindi ma-divide ng 4. Si 15 hindi ma-divide ng 4. Si 20 ay ma-divide ng 4. So, therefore, ang least common denominator natin dito ay 20. So, maglagay na tayo ng 20 at yung minus sign natin. 20 divided by 5 and that is 4. 4 times 7 equals 28. 20 divided by 4 and that is 5. 5 times 5 and this is 25. Pwede na tayong mag-subtract. Kopyahin yung denominator na 20. 28 minus 25 and this is 3. Hindi na natin yan na-simplify so yan na yung sagot. Now there's another way to solve this. Pareho lang din, pero doon tayo sa tinatawag na butterfly method. Again, marami na tayong mga examples sa butterfly method. So, pwede nyo i-search butterfly method at lagyan ng idugtong lang itong lunalin para mas madaling ma-sort out ba. Yung dati na natin mga videos regarding sa butterfly method. So, we have, dito natin ilagay yung butterfly method. We have 7 minus 5, 7 over 5 minus 5. 5 over 4. So, ito yung i-multiply natin. 5 times 4 and that is 20. 7 times 4 and this is 28 minus 5 times 5, 25. So, kopihin lang itong si 20. 28 minus 25 and this is 3. So, ang sagot dito ay 3 over 20. Next, number 2. Again, hindi, naman, hindi na naman pareho yung denominator. So, hanapan natin ng least common denominator. Yung pinakamalaking value dito ay 4. Yung 4 ba ma-divide sa 3? Hindi. Doon tayo sa multiple of 4. Yung 8, hindi siya ma-divide ng 3. Next, yung 12 ma-divide ng 3. So, gamitin natin yung 12 as our least common denominator. So, we have 12. 12 divided by 4, and that is 3. 3 times 3 equals 9. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. 4 times 1, and that is 4. Now, kopyahin natin yung denominator na 12. Tapos yung numerator, 9 minus 4, and this is 5. Hindi na natin yan masimplify, so ito na yung final answer, 5 over 12. Again, pwede ulit tayong mag-solve using yung butterfly method kasi wala sa dalawa dalawang denominator na gamit natin as uh, least common denominator so ang gagawin lang natin yung butterfly method natin dito tayo 3 over 4 minus 1 third 4 times 3 and this is 12 tapos yung minus sign natin 3 times 3 equals 9 1 times 4, and this is 4. So, kopyahin natin si 12, at yung nasa taas, 9 minus 4, and this is 5. Kaya sagot dito, 5 over 12. Next. Now, hindi na tayo mahirapan ito kasi pariho 
yung mga denominators, kopyahin lang si 9. Tapos, ang i-minus lang natin ay yung mga numerators. 7 minus 3, and this is 4. So, ang sagot dito, 4 over 9. Next, number 4. Hindi na naman pareho yung denominator, so hanapan natin ang least common denominator. Tingnan natin yung may pinakamalaking value, which is 6. So, since 6 ang pinakamalaking value, yung 6 ba ma-divide sa 5? Hindi. Next. Yung mga multiple of 6, 12. Ma-divide pa siya sa 5? Hindi. Next, 18. Hindi rin siya ma-divide sa 5. 24. Hindi rin siya ma-divide sa 5. Si 30 ma-divide siya sa 5. By the way, to yung mga multiple of 6. So, therefore, ang least common denominator natin dito ay 30. Ito yung isang paraan para hanapin yung least common denominator. So, we have 30. 30 yung mga denominators natin. 30 divided by 6, and that is 5. 5 times 3 equals 15. 30 divided by 5, and that is 6. 6 times 4 equals 24. Kopyahin yung denominator na 30, yung numerators natin, 24 minus 15, and this is 9. Si 9 over 30, ang malis natin yan by finding the greatest common factor. Again, para sa basic kung paano hanapin yung least common, uh, I mean yung greatest common factor, pwede yung search greatest common factor again, itugtong lang din yung lunalin para mas madaling ma-sort out. Yung dati na nating video regarding dyan. So, ang greatest common factor dito sa 9 over 30 ay 3. 9 divided by 3 and this is 3. 30 divided by 3 and this is 10. So, ang final answer dito, yung simplified na answer ay 3 over 10. So, yan na yung sagot dito sa number 4. Isa pang paraan sa pag-solve nito. Sulat muna natin yung final answer natin. Isa pang paraan. Itong 3 over 6, pwede natin yung malist by finding the greatest common factor which is 3. 3 divided by 3 and this is 1. 6 divided by 3 and this is 2. In other words, itong si 3 over 6 ay pareho lang yan sa 1 half. So, sinisimplify na natin yung isang fraction natin. So, kopyahin si 4 over 5. Again, hindi na naman pariho yung denominators. So, hanapin natin yung least common denominator. Si 5, hindi siya ma-divide sa 2. So, ang next sa uh, 5 ay 10. So, si 10 ma-divide na sa 2. Yan yung gamitin natin. Denominators. 10 divided by 5, that is 2. 2 times 4, this is 8. 10 divided by 2, and that is 5, 5 times 1, and this is 5. Pariho yung denominators. So, numerators, 8 minus 5, this is 3. So, ang sagot, 3 over 10. Another way. Doon ulit tayo sa tinatawag nating butterfly method. 4 over 5 minus 1 half. 5 times 2, and this is 10. Tapos yung minus sign natin. 4 times 2, this is 8. 1 times 5, and this is 5. Kopyahin yung denominator na 10. 8 minus 5, and this is 3. So ang sagot, 3 over 10. Number 5. Hindi na naman sila pareho yung denominators. So, hanapin natin yung least common denominator. Now, yung denominator na 4, yan yung pinakamalaki nila. So, si 4 ma-divide ba sa 2? Kung ang sagot, yes. Yan na yung least common denominator natin. So, kopyahin lang natin itong 5 over 4. Now, doon tayo sa kabila. 4 yung denominator. 4 divided by 2, and that is 2. 2 times 9 equals 18. So, pwede na natin yung i-minus. Kopyahin yung denominator na 4. 18 minus 5, and this is 13. Now, this is improper fraction. Ang improper fraction, yun yung 
mas malaking value yung nasa numerator. So, kailangan natin yung simplify. 13 over 4, that means 13 divided by 4. Ilang 4 sa 13? Uh, 3. So, 3 times 4, and this is 12. 13 minus 12, and this is 1. Itong 3 na to, yan yung whole number. Itong remainder na 1, yan yung numerator. At ito namang pang divide na 4, or kopyahin lang yung denominator na 4. Therefore, ang final answer dito ay 3 and 1 fourth. Paalala lang, kapag ganito na yung denominator natin or yung least common denominator natin ay nasa dalawa lang, bali nakita na natin sa mga denominators dito na ang least common natin ay itong mismong 4, nunin na natin gamitin yung butterfly method. Maganda lang gamitin yung butterfly method kapag yung identified nating least common denominator ay wala mismo sa nasa given na mga denominators. Thank you for watching and all I hope mayroon kayong naintindihan sa video ito. Thank you and God bless.